Hello guys, in this video we are gonna try to find out whether Python is call by value or call by reference. So call by value and call by reference are nothing but two kind of parameter passing techniques. So in call by value what happens is that um, you pass the values of the parameters to the function okay so if any kind of change is done to those parameters inside the function those changes are not reflected back in your actual parameters but in case of call by reference you just pass a reference to your parameters to your function so if you make any kind of changes to those parameters inside your function those changes will get reflected back in your actual parameters so that is the concept and in this video we are going to try to find out whether python is call by value or call by reference so let's get started okay so let's start with a simple example which is a simple increment function okay so in this function what I'm going to do is I will just take any kind of variable as input and I will try to add one to it okay so this is my function and now let me define any kind of variable num whose value is one so now if I just use my function increment num what do you think should be um, the value of num now so if it is called by value then according to that the value of num should remain 1 and if this is called by reference then the value of num should be 2 right so let's try to see what it is num okay so it's 1 so right now if we see at this behavior we can assume that python is behaving like call by value right it is not behaving like call by reference because if because if that had been the case then in that case the value of num should have been 2 right but now let's see one more example um, let's say I am defining a function add more in which I will be passing a list called L and what I will be doing is I will be appending uh, an extra element to my list let's say 5 okay and let me define my list which is 1 2 3 4 okay so now let me call the function add more my list so according to the example that I gave here what do you think should be the output or what do you think should be the value of my list after running this function um, if it is called by value then the value of my list should remain 1 2 3 4 but if it is called by reference then it should go 1 2 3 4 5 right so let's try it out my list okay so what is happening here my list value has now um, it is now 1 2 3 4 5 so an extra element got added actually here so now this behavior seems like call by reference because you just passed a parameter to your function and some changes were made to that parameter and now those changes are being reflected back here right so this is kind of a weird behavior or you can say it is uh, it is kind of creating contradictions here right so let's try to decode it okay so let's see what happens here and let's try to find what is going on so my list is equal to one two three four this is the um, actual scenario in the starting right and after that I decided to call the function add more so now you need to go back to the basics you need to know that in Python everything is objects so when you are doing add more my list you are doing nothing but passing your complete object here so now what happens is that the value of my list gets mapped to L so now both your my list and L are pointing to the same list object and as you can see um, when I check the value of my list it becomes one two three four five why because when I did L dot append five then this list object got changed and L and my list are still referring to the same object right and let's try to be co be confirmed about this particular behavior by doing some changes to our function um, let me try to print ID of L okay so this will give me the memory address you can say um, of L that is not actually the memory address but a kind of an identifier the, for that particular object okay so let me just first of all check the ID of my list okay so this is this big number right and when I run add more my list 
okay look at that these two numbers are totally same so it means that the id of my list is same as id of l which means that both of uh, both of them are referring to the same object okay so this is the concept and this kind of parameter passing technique is called call by object you are doing nothing but simply passing your complete objects to your function as the parameters so that's the concept right so now let's see one more example to get a much clearer understanding of what's going on here so i have got another example for you let's say i have a function clean it okay in which i pass a list l and then i just make my list empty okay so what should happen now if i try to pass my list here um clean it my list should the value of my list be empty now should my list be an empty list now let's try to see well this is not the case right so what happened here let's try to see actually when you just called clean it and you passed my list as a parameter then my list and l are uh, referring to the same list object right but as soon as you make l equal to an empty list this assignment function or you can say this assignment operator is actually assigning l to another object uh, another newly created object l equal to empty list is now doing just this thing l is now pointing to an empty list whereas my list is still pointing to the same object so that is the concept and we can just um, be confirmed about this particular behavior by doing something like this print id of l and then again print id of l okay so let's try to run it look at that these two values are totally different the id of l before doing l equal to empty list is different from the id of l after doing this assignment so it means that as soon as you did l equal to an empty list the reference of l to its object was changed now l is referring to something else right and that is an empty list right here so this is how call by object is behaving here and as soon as you use any kind of assignment statement your parameter starts pointing to something else so that is not um, that is no longer referring to the, uh, your same parameter right so this is the case so you should be aware of these two behaviors and um i hope the concept of call by object was clear after this video and if you still have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching